out of 200. That's the game ready, bro. Welcome back to the kitchen. Hit up my dude, Aaron Wells from VIP Sportswear. Check them out. He was like, listen, I got a new iconic coming out, the new the Mac. Um, Antoine Mac, everybody know him as T Mac. Got a 27 ounce, brand new in the wrapper. Haven't been hit, haven't been hit yet. Tested at 200 in the wrapper. About to take, take the wrapper off, do some exit velo, and then we're gonna head out to the field probably later on in the, the day and get some more swings. See what we do. Twenty six eight five. Oh. Ninety six. One oh two. One oh two. One oh five. God damn. Sounds kind of broken in already. Good, bro. That thing sounds good. Bro. Eddie, all I'm doing is just getting the barrel to it, bro. All right, man. So you saw the swings that I took on the team. Took a few swings earlier today as well. I got my man Scobie out here. Wanted to check it out, you know, because uh, he got love for T-Mac. So you want to see what this is about? Yes, yes. T Max, my boy, and I cannot wait to hear this. I just drove an hour just to hit BP. But the uh, this is called the Mac Iconic. Just so you know, my first impression was, I do like the color scheme. Um, I like the smaller barrel. Um, I do feel there's a lot of flex in this handle. I'm anxious to see how I hit with it. Uh, if it compares to the Sammy B bat, I've heard rumor that it was similar feel to that. It's got a really small end knob. Definitely I felt that because I'm used to a rubber knob with a bigger thing. So that'll be an adjustment for me as well. But to be honest with you, I don't care if this bat's a piece of junk. T-Max my dog. <laughs> so I'm probably going to like it no matter what. All right, well, let's go. Let's get it. Oh, my God. the 52, huh? Wow. Top of the tree. I cleared everything. What up? Welcome back to the kitchen. I got the OG from California back. Ken Scobie, number 23. All right. Um, we just came from swinging the Mac. Iconic VIP sportswear. Uh, former conference player, uh, senior player, pro iconic player, uh, BSC Hall of Famer. All right. I uh, finally got an opportunity to get his name on a bat. 
We were very excited to come out here and really see what this bat felt like. Last year, Iconic came out with a bat called the Iconic Premier, and it was definitely a bat that was made for the younger 40 guys, where you had to break it in, put a two, 300 swings on it, just to get it good, very durable. This bat tested at 200 in the wrapper. We're probably close to 80 to 100 swings, and it felt game ready right off the bat. All right, we got the, the mat. Iconic, you did a good job. Because I'll be honest with you, compared to the other Iconic bats, I felt like those were BP bats for 40 year olds that could get used to swinging it, and that was his intent, which I respect um, BIP's approach and Iconic's approach of getting a bat instead of a senior bat you break right away. They want you to actually get used to it, break it in, similar to what we do growing up with a regular bat. So I do respect that mindset for somebody that does need that bat. But I do feel like this bat's more game ready, and I know that was their intent. Um, I know T-Mac was pretty adamant about which bat he wanted because I saw the demos he had and he was going through the process of seeing how long they lasted and which one had the most flex, which one had the most recoil. Uh, so T-Mac was very thorough when picking out the model he wanted. Um, color scheme solid, obviously gave a shout out to his mom. Um, Iconic went with the Beast Mode series as their theme. The color connection's cool. Um, Obviously, it's a two-piece, and the color scheme kind of throws off the size of the barrel. I know whether it's 12 and a half or 13, I feel like it has a big enough barrel. Um, the one main thing, I think, when you get this bat, and I'm sure that's going to be talked about the most, is the flex in the handle. And it's got the littlest knob on there. So for those people that overlap the knob, I feel like the, they're clearly, this is their bat, that they're going to be comfortable with. Me, myself, when I put on my rubber knob, I liked it so much better, but that's because that's my own personal preference. And luckily in 2023, we can slide this little rubber thing on here. Protection, safety first. Uh, <laughs> put this on there. And uh, I got way more back control because I was more comfortable with it. So obviously my boy Chef likes this little cone thing and slides it on there and he does things his way. So just know that don't cancel it out because that little knob, because honestly, I eliminated that little knob right away. Um, also, it had a lot of flex in the handle, and obviously, I'm with California Bats, and the Sammy B has a lot of flex in the handle, um, to be, and I feel like that bat catches up too. So, honestly, the way they weighted this, I feel like the flex in the handle, I hate that scares everybody off, because honestly, we would say, I like a stiff bat, yeah. um, but honestly, like, when you go in there and actually whack it and get the flex of the bat, um, we were excited about hitting it. I mean, I'm not even saying that because he's my dude. It was like, we had 10 bats over there. We both kept wanting to grab this. So, and honestly, the furthest balls we hit were with his bat. Oh, so, 100%, man. I don't know if you'll see that in the video, but we probably hit six bats or so. Uh, this bat definitely hit two in the top of the tree. He had one over the second fence, like, and this is a big ass field. So yeah, it's not like with the wind blown out. And BP balls. Let's take a look at these balls, Cam. These are not stadium. Let's go. T-Mac, you did good, bud. I'm looking forward to the season. It's good to see uh, VIP we put some hive and get a shout out. VIP, shout out. And we're right at 100 swings, and I don't see any marks or, you know, signs of any spider webbing or cracks or anything on it, you know. Oh, well, that bat's broken. <laughs> oh, my God. I would say for any senior bat out there, you get a high-performing bat, you need to put 10, 20 swings on it, put it up. If you're gonna go out there, try to hit stadiums or platinum dots and joker balls, you're gonna break this bat in 100 swings. So, um, the Mac, proud of you, man. Uh, I think they really did a good job. So definitely, I think we're gonna see a lot of this bat out there once people get to find out about this. Definitely sure. So I appreciate everyone coming in to the kitchen as always. Sure. My guy, Scobie, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the swings that you saw, my dude got his leg wrapped yeah, up and he was still <laughs> able to, to to go through the pain. So just for you, T-Mac, Ashley Mac, love the tribute to mom right here. You know, family dude, good job. Let's go.